Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. My name is April. We're getting ready to hop straight into this reading right here. Okay, let's see what comes out for y'all this good old morning. I hope y'all have a good day today, today, too. Okay, let's see. Ooh, ooh. Let's see what this is. The shot down here. Let's see. I ain't gonna take all these. I'm just gonna take the one on top. Let me see. Let me get some more. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, whoever this is, I feel like this getting ready to come in, y'all. Whether this is a new person or a past person here, so, somebody could like the cook and want to come in and cook for you here. Okay, so your person or whoever uh, God is getting ready to bless you with could know how to cook. Okay, and they could want to come in and they could want to cook for you. Have a nice little dinner. In my head, I'm seeing like a candlelight dinner. I see a table with some candles or something on it and, and, and some dinner. So somebody could want to cook for you or something like that, okay? Uh, you know, being really romantic, all right? Uh, some of you all could be wondering, like, whoever this is that's getting ready to come in your life, will they protect you and stand up for you, okay? You know, as most of my followers are women, okay but just swap the, the roles as you need to but us women you know we like to feel like we're protected like the person that we, we can protect us stand up for their stand up for us provide for us be there you know be the the head and just be there for us as a as as a man here so some of you all could be wondering like is the person god is getting ready to bless you with are they going to protect you and stand up for you and be there for you here okay um somebody here could have been a player okay now if this is somebody that you're reconciling with this could have been their energy where they could have been in a player energy okay maybe they could have had different options or whatever or the new person is getting ready to come for my single people that had you know and someone is getting ready to come into your life this could have been their energy before you all like cross paths or something like that okay but um whoever this is it's, it's like they're a lover Okay, because, you know, I see Care Bear. So it's like they could have pretend to be a certain way, you know, to maybe fit in with certain people or something like that. I don't know, okay, but it's saying that this person is really a lover, okay? Um, but I'm getting that this person is like a Care Bear, okay? So this is someone that's going to gonna love you. This is someone I feel like that's going to be uh, vulnerable and, like, show you their emotional side because that's what I keep seeing and whatever. But maybe their past energy used to be a player or you know for, for the people that this person has not exactly came into your life yet i feel like this may be how they could have been before you all met or before you meet or something like that okay for for some for some of you all i feel like you're going to be reconciling with somebody okay and whoever this is that you're reconciling with, this person is proud of you for whatever it is that you're doing here, okay? They're proud of you, or they want to come in telling you that they're proud of you for something here, okay, that you're doing. Rather, this is something that you're doing in your own life or something that maybe you could have helped them with, okay? Or maybe changed their perspective on something, okay? But they just want to come in saying that they're proud of you for something, okay? Um, some of you all, I, you know, I have been, since I've been back, posting readings and whatever i have said some of you all could be gifted you could be intuitive here okay um uh, and then on this truck it got feel good energy okay so you could make this person feel good <laughs> okay you can you can make this person feel good or whatever all right but yeah this person is like look even if i don't admit it you're always on point okay you read me so you can read this person okay you read this person you can see through this person like you probably know this person inside and out and whatever okay and even if this person has not told you out of their mouth i'm telling you like this is how this person feel like they feel like you can read them or whatever okay let's see <laughs> let's get some more
All right. Okay, for some of y'all, your person been crying. Okay, so if 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 you all been in separate for some of you all, you've been in separation with somebody. Okay, and this person is missing you. All right, they crying. They've been crying, missing you. They reminiscing. Some of them could be listening to music. Some of them could be listening to music, and they could just be thinking about you, feeling very nostalgic or something like that. Okay, yeah, but some, for some of y'all, your person been crying. All right, so maybe you had low energy, or maybe you've been feeling like, um, you know, sad. You could be picking up on your person's energy here because it's definitely showing where this person could have been crying or they're missing you in some way here. Okay, yeah, this person could want to come in and help you in some way, no matter how that is, whatever kind of form of help it is. Okay, this person want to come in and like be there for you. And before this card even came out, y'all, I, I just said that. You know, us as women want to make sure, you know, we want somebody that can protect us, stand up for their, stand up for us, you know, be the provider and be the head, like other household and whatever. And, and so this just clarifies what I just said. Like this person want to come in and like be there for you here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This person could want hugs and kisses from you. Okay. You know how, I don't know if some of y'all still do it. You know how you can scribble on little stuff. You know, when you get to thinking and you be in your head and sometimes you don't even realize what you be doing. You could just be writing. Some of y'all could do that. Your person could do this or you could do this or whatever. Okay. But that's what I'm picking up on here. Okay. This person could like want hugs and kisses or miss your hugs and kisses here. Okay. They could be thinking about that. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So some of y'all divine feminists want to know if all I have is love to give, would that be enough? So you all want to know, like, if all you have is love, would that be enough? Okay? And I feel like that's what you, you want to know, okay? So for some of my divine feminists, money may not matter to you, okay? I think I said this, what, yesterday? Like, money is not everything, but you do need money and whatever. So maybe you all are wondering, like, if all I had was love to give, like, would, would, would you still want me? Would you still be here? So some of you all are kind of questioning. Maybe you're wondering, like, I could be up today and down tomorrow, but on my down day, would you still be here? Like, if I was to lose everything, would you still be here? Or something like that, okay? Because you 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 want to make sure that you're with someone for the right reasons. And if you get with somebody just based on money or looks or sex or something like that, it's not gonna last. So you want to make sure that it's a solid foundation, and you want to make sure that you're with someone that love your ass, and they ain't with you just because of what you got, your money, your job, or how you look, your fashion, or whatever. Okay? Your health can fail tomorrow. You can lose your job, and your money can fall tomorrow. You want to make sure the person that you got love you for you. Okay, so maybe that's what some of you all are wondering, Divine Feminist. Like, if all I have is love to give, would you still be here? Okay, some of you all could have been in a in a um uh, a, a empathic narcissistic relationship. So I don't know if this is someone maybe you could have dealt with in the past, or for some of you all that's rekindling, rekindling with somebody, maybe they had like narcissistic tendencies or or something here okay but somebody was in a uh empathic narcissistic relationship so somebody was the empaths and somebody was the narc okay so i don't know if this is someone from your past and and, and you all meet a new person okay or some whoever you're rekindling or or reconciling with maybe you know have healed some things okay and they've gotten rid of those narcissistic ways here okay um let's see yeah okay so for the ones of you that's reconciling with somebody or wanting to reconcile with somebody somebody that's returning okay this person feels like it would crush them seeing you loving somebody else here okay so they don't want to see you with nobody else here okay they don't want to see you with nobody else it said they saying that it'll crush them they don't, don't want to see that okay some of you all could be going on vacation okay some of you all could be going on vacation here all right 
taking a nice trip. So whoever this is going to want to come in and cook you some food, a little dinner, put some nourishments in your body. <laughs> and they're going to take you on a vacation. They might want to cook on this vacation, okay? But somebody want to spoil you. All right, you got whoever this is coming in, whether this is you reconciling with somebody or whether this is a new person, they want to spoil you. All right, they want to spoil you and wine and dine you and all of that. And I kept seeing Love Jones in my head, y'all. Okay, I keep seeing it. This person definitely could want to uh, cook for you and stuff like that. Okay. Oh, it's an emperor. Okay, just like I always say, the empress is every queen of the deck. The emperor is every king of the deck. So this is the energy that this person is going to come in. Okay, and so that means that's every man. That that means that everything that you want, all the qualities that you want in a man, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> okay, he's dead. All right. So let me get get some more. <sighs> Oh, <clears throat> some of you all could like animals because right here on this sign, it got dragons out here, okay. And some about the zoo. Some of you all could like animals. That's like a side note here, okay? Some of you all could be into astrology or something like that because you got planets, planet right here, okay? So some of you all could be, uh, <laughs> some of you all could be into astrology and stuff like that, the planets, okay? And uh, or you could just be into like uh, the solar system or something. It could be, it could be even something that you're studying, but that's just something that. I pick on whatever I see when I'm doing a reading. It be I, it be for somebody that's watching me, okay? It be for somebody. Some of you all could, food food service I definitely cook. Some of y'all could be a cook or something like that, okay? For some of you all, the ones of you that was in like a empathic narcissistic relationship, this could have been somebody that's from your past, and a new person is coming in this emperor energy, okay? Because some of y'all like what's love got to do with it? Y'all like what the fuck love got to do with it? All right. <laughs> You like what's the love got to do with it? All right, and this new person coming in is in this emperor energy. Okay, all right. So some of y'all don't don't uh probably don't want to hear from whoever it was from your past. You just ready for this new emperor to come in. Okay, but somebody here is like it's like they know they made the wrong choice and they regretting it. Okay, so somebody was in a player player energy. Okay, maybe however they were, their ways or whatever choices they made caused some type of separation. But whatever it is that they did, they're regretting it now. Okay, they feel like they made the wrong choice for whatever it is that they could have done. Okay, and they're regretting that. Okay, uh, a channel song is Fergie, clumsy. You got me tripping, stumbling over you. You got me tripping, oh, stumbling, cause I'm falling in love. Okay, so I don't know if y'all heard that, but uh, listen to it, Google it. Okay, it's called Clumsy by Fergie. Okay, so you got this person tripping because they falling in love with you. Okay, yeah. They falling in love with you here, okay? Let me see. Let's see. Let's get a fruit 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 Okay, flooded with emotions. This person could be flooded with emotions right here, okay? If this is someone that you already dealt with, I don't, I'm not picking up on somebody that's flooded with emotions that's new, but it could be, it could be someone that come in and, um, you're, you know, you could just be a whole vibe because I picked that up yesterday. Y'all could just be a whole vibe and the love that you give, it could just have this person like googly, like butterflies or something like that, y'all. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Oh, 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 oh. Wait. All right, this person feel like it's y'all against the world. Okay? They feel like it's y'all against the world here. All right? If it's me and you against the world. <laughs> What's that? Uh, Jay-Z on the run. Yeah, Jay-Z uh, on the run here. Okay? Some of you all could be a power couple. 
Okay, and I just seen nostalgic, definitely nostalgic. This person could be listening to 15, 15 on the clock. This person could be thinking about you listening to a whole lot of music, very nostalgic, okay? But it's definitely showing where you all could be a power couple here, okay? Definitely a power couple. Rock the boat, okay? Rock the boat. Rock the Boat by Aaliyah is another channel song. So I feel like this is for somebody that has been um, with that person before and like reconciling with a person. This person could be thinking about you in a sexual way because, you know, in Rock the Boat, she said, work the middle. So this person could be wanting to work the middle. Okay. <laughs> All right. This Or this could be a song that you like. Okay letting you know that this resonates okay but I've, i'm definitely picking up this is just how this person is feeling this person is is shit they want to they missing your hugs they missing your kisses okay they listening to music they missing you okay this person is thinking about working the middle like Aaliyah said in that song rock the boat <laughs> ah, let's see oh okay look baby baby this person is thinking about moving together okay this person is thinking about y'all moving in together here okay this is something that they have been thinking about all right um uh, another channel song is jamie fox you changed me here okay um this person could feel like you changed them in some way here okay uh my mind be going blank so i'm trying to think of the song uh Cause you changed me, baby. I be a player for life. Switch that all up in one night. And what? And what? And what came out? I said this person could have been a player. Or they could have just had different options. You know what I'm saying? But you changed this person, okay? You changed this person, and that's the channel song. So we got Fergie, clumsy, and we got Jamie Foxx. You changed me, okay? Those channel songs so far. But whoever this masculine is is telling people to mind their business. Okay, so maybe this person is like wanting to be very discreet. Okay, I don't feel like this person is going to want to keep you a secret, but I feel like they just don't want people in that bit. Because, you know, people be messy. People be messy. Okay, and maybe this person want to be very discreet and stuff because outside people can mess things. So this is even in a marriage, y'all. When you get married, you don't you want to try to keep your family and friends out of your relationship as much as possible because it can mess things up. And it's not the it's not because anybody wants to like make you a secret because you can publicly show off your partner without making them feel like you're hiding them. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like this is what this person is wanting to do. I feel like this is the type of person that just don't like people in their damn business. And they're telling people to mind their business when it comes to y'all because pe outside people can mess a relationship up. Okay, this is in, in a regular relationship or even in a marriage. You want to make sure that you keep family and friends. If you have a little argument, don't call up Susie and Sally and 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 and, and, and Donna or whoever. Okay, because you can forgive your person, but the people around you ain't gonna forgive them. So you got to be careful talking to people about your partner and your relationship. Okay, I, that's for somebody it's very specific. Okay, because I went to detail with that. All right. Sure. You tell your mama you done got the arguing with your partner. The next day or the next week, you might forgive that person. But your mama is still wondering why they said what they said and did what they did. So now it's a problem. So you want to try to make if If you know for a fact you still going to be with that person, keep your business to yourself. Don't be out here blasting and putting stuff on social media and, and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Because people around you ain't probably won't forgive them. So you 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 know what I'm saying. And and people and people don't love uh you like you think they do, and they don't really be wanting to be happy. They really don't be happy for you like they pretend to be sometimes. Sometimes people be pretending to be happy for you sometimes, okay? So you want to make sure that you keep people out of your business. Okay, another channel song is Gerald Levert. Baby, I'm ready to give you all of my love. All right. Gerald Levert here. All right. Uh, baby, I'm ready to give you all of my love. 
Well, he say, girl, I'm tired of playing games. So many girls I can't even name. Baby, I'm ready. Baby, I'm ready. <laughs> this person is saying they ready to give you all of their love, okay? He said it to some, some of the girls I can't even name, but he don't want this. He said, baby, he ready. Okay, listen to that song. That's another channel song, y'all. Drill alert. Um, Baby, I'm ready. Okay, baby, I'm ready. Baby, I'm ready. Child, this came out again. It's us against the world. It's us against the world here. Okay, so maybe y'all gonna shut people out and it's just gonna be y'all too. Or if you got kids, your kids. If y'all don't got kids, then just y'all too. Oh, here. Okay. But yeah. Let's see. Okay, this person could feel alone without your energy and your love here. Okay, like I said, this person's feeling very nostalgic and they missing you. Okay, this person is missing you a whole lot and they can feel alone. Even if this person got people around them, they can still feel alone because they're not around you. They're not in your energy here. Okay, so this person definitely is missing you. They feel alone without you around. Okay, um, let's see. All right, it says, I lied to you about them because I love you and it's just sex with them. So, some of y'all definitely could have been dealing with someone that maybe didn't know exactly what they really wanted in the beginning, okay? Um, and I have been picking up on that movie uh, with Tyrese and Taraji, Baby Boy. Yeah, with Baby Boy. <laughs> okay, so some of y'all could have been dealing with a player player, okay? But this person, like, look, I lied to you about them because I love you. So maybe this person was trying to protect your feelings. They Maybe they wasn't ready for what you was ready for in the beginning or something, okay? But it was just sex with the other people, okay? So that's, that, that's for somebody here, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? All right. Let's see. What that? What that? What that? What that? Oh, okay. Some of y'all could be a church girl, okay? Y'all just believe in God. In God, okay? Yeah, in love with a church girl. Ja Rule, that's, a, a, that's like a channel movie. Watch that. That's with Ja Rule and uh, Balin. What is her name? Uh, Adrian. Adrian or Adriana Balon. Okay, she, I think she on the real. She on one of them talk shows, but she was a cheetah girl or whatever. Okay, but then whoever this masculine is, they want they ready to commit and they ready to be in like a permanent relationship. Okay, so maybe when y'all go on this vacation or whatever, maybe they gonna tell you that. Cause I I'm getting vacation vibes. Okay, vacation vibes. They came out here. All right. Let's see. Oh, what the. Look, I said somebody was into astrology or something. Okay, and up here on this thing, it got planet up here. And then it got love on the side over here. All right. I heard love on the brain by uh, Rihanna. Somebody got love on the brain. You can have love on the brain. This person can have love on the brain. Okay. Uh, Science by Beyonce. Listen to that song. Okay. She she talks about, she mentioned all the signs in there and whatever. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Some of y'all could love Beyonce, like Beyonce or whatever. All right. Let me see. Cook. Again, this came, I put this back in and it came back out. So this person definitely could want to come in and like cook you a dinner or something like that. Okay. Candles. And I'm saying, y'all know that, what is that uh, movie with Darla in it? Uh what is that the little rascals y'all y'all know that scene in the little rascals where they sitting at the table and, she, and he had that little cake and it's like a little ring or something in it i don't that's what i'm picking up on some about a ring as well so this person could want to get you jewelry a ring or earrings or something like that okay or um some of them could want to propose to you here okay but maybe they just want to gift you with some jewelry. If it's not a proposal, they could just want to give you a ring. Y'all, look, baby. I can't even make this up. I can't even re I can't even make it up. I really can't make it up. Happy engagement came out right after I said that, y'all. And I know what I be talking about. Because I, ju I just seen Alf Alpha and Darla sitting at that table in that scene. And the little rascals. And that came out with the ring. I just said, this person could want to, like get engaged like they could want to propose to you for real okay 
Um, let's see. I'm gonna get a few more and I'm gonna get some oracles and then I'm gonna end it. I ain't gonna make it too long. Y'all, I keep seeing initials. You know how when you planning for when you planning for a wedding and uh you have like the initials or or people have like them catchy like phrases and stuff. Some of you all could be getting engaged and, and like once this person proposes, it's like stuff gonna move kind of quickly. Because what I'm seeing in my head, I just, I'm constantly seeing it. I just seen initials on two trucks, and that's what came to me here. Okay, uh, it's it's like the what is that? The, is that the reception where they have like the initials and all that stuff everywhere? I don't know, like the cute little slogan or whatever. I don't know, but acts of service could be somebody's love language here. Okay, lending a helping hand or doing something kind. So this person could want to like lend a helping hand and come in and do something kind for you here. Okay. Um, let me get some more of these. I'm going to pull some from these right here. Let's see. Let's see. Give me some messages for the YouTube collective. Give me some from the YouTube collective spirit. Okay, must not. Doesn't want to come out from my oracle. Give me some messages from the for the YouTube collective. Okay. All right. We got trust. We got trust. We got this situation is calling for you to have faith. Okay. So if some of you all were, um, if some of you all are expecting like to reconcile with somebody or wanting to reconcile with somebody, spirit is saying, Hey, I'm trusting this situation. It's causing, it's calling for you to have faith that things are going to work out and and uh y'all gonna be happy with each other here okay things are gonna work out and it's gonna be a lot of happiness between y'all two here okay stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance here okay so keep your thoughts positive okay no matter what's going on around you continue to keep your thoughts positive about you and this person here okay express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so I feel like whoever this person is, they're finna get ready to make a romantic gesture. Like I said, this person could be coming in. They could be wanting to give you a ring. Okay, they could be wanting to uh, propose to you. Because I told y'all I seen that scene with the ring and then engagement came out. And um, cook. Okay, so this person could want to come in being romantic. Y'all could be going on some type of getaway or something like that. Okay, but that is all I have for y'all. Okay. I hope this reason, this, I said reason. <laughs> I hope this, uh, reading resonated in some way. It gave you all some type of clarity. And I hope you all have a beautiful, 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 beautiful Monday. Okay. Bye.